In particular, patients with compromised cardiac and or respiratory systems may not tolerate the mechanical effects of a pneumoperitoneum. For horizontal plane, positioning the monitor straight ahead of the surgical team member, aligned with the forearm instrument monitor axis, will prevent the person from having axial rotation of the spine. For sagittal plane, positioning of the monitor lower than eye level, approximately 15 degrees downward, will prevent neck extension. For viewing distance, the position of the monitor will depend on the size of the screen. If the monitor is too close, the surgical team member's eyes may undergo extensive accommodation and conversion by the extraocular musculature. If the monitor is too far away, the person may be required to strain and may not be able to see in detail. Sight markings should follow the recommendations of the Joint Commission and the facility. At a minimum, mark all cases involving laterality or multiple structures. Skin preparation for the patient undergoing minimally invasive surgery should follow AORN's recommended practice guidelines, and the patient should be assessed for any allergies to skin antiseptics. With many laparoscopic procedures, the umbilicus is often a primary trocar site. The umbilicus should be carefully examined and cleaned appropriately. Skin preparation products that contain alcohol should be allowed to thoroughly dry before draping. Gas embolus requires rapid synchronized response from the surgical team. Signs include sudden decrease in end tidal carbon dioxide partial pressure, rapid decrease of pulse oximetry values, hypotension, jugular venous distension, tachycardia, and mill wheel murmur.